guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Now this week I am going to be reading your letters and answering your questions. If any of you guys watching want your letters and questions to perhaps be featured in an upcoming video, feel free to send me a letter, a picture, a drawing, whatever you want to my P.O. Box. The P.O. Box is right here. Yep, this is my P.O. Box. Send away, lovelies. Send away. But for now, I have all these to open. So this is kind of a lot, and obviously I won't be able to answer all of you guys' questions and stuff on this video, but I'm gonna do as many as I can. So here we go. I just have to open this one first because look at it. Look at this letter. It is so bedazzled, be bejeweled, be yeah, that I, I really like this. This is so cute. <laughs> This is from, I think it says Jerica. If not, I'm so sorry that I mispronounced your name. Oh, I saw this on Instagram. I saw this drawing on Instagram, and at first I didn't realize that I was tagged in it, and I thought, that goldfish mermaid person has hair kind of like mine, doesn't she? But I wasn't quite sure. And then I saw that I was tagged in it, and it was a drawing of me as a goldfish mermaid person. Oh my gosh, Jericho, this is so beautiful. I love this. You're so talented. Wow. This is one of the most incredible things that I've personally ever seen. Okay, so thank you so much for sending it to me. She also sent me an adorable, adorable letter that has a little drawing on it too. Jerrica says, Dear Jenny, I know you saw my picture when I posted it on Instagram, but I colored it in and I thought I would send it to you. I wish you the best in your aquatic, artistic passions. Next we have a letter from George. Hi George. By George, George, I needed a scissors to open your letter. Ooh. I always like this yellow paper, isn't that the best? Oh my goodness. This is a long letter, George. Whoa, okay, it's actually from Jeff. Jeff, so George must be another person in the family. I'm sorry, Jack, or I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. I will address you properly from now on. Jeff says, I recently discovered your goldfish videos on YouTube. I have learned a great deal from them, especially on proper feeding. Awesome. Jeff says that his fantail named Marcy helped, helped lift his spirits and that he owes her a lot. You know what Jeff, I find that to be the case with my goldfish too. If I'm having a bad day, all I have to do is go sit in front of the tank for a little bit and watch them swim around and they're just so cute and ridiculous looking that it makes me laugh and giggle and smile and it makes everything just a little bit better. This is coming from, I think it says Carla in Michigan. Carla from Michigan. It says, do not bend. Picture enclosed. Ooh. That's exciting. Carla says, I have had goldfish since I was 12 years old and I'm now 62. Yippee. That's awesome, Carla. That is a very long legacy of goldfish keeping and quite frankly, I'm jealous. Okay, you guys. I was trying to make sense of this letter and picture because the picture looks like it's not actually a picture of real fish swimming in an aquarium. And then as I was reading Carla's letter, I realized that these are three fish that passed away and she, she says, I have this crazy idea to have them stuffed. My friend is a taxidermist and she said she'd try to do these. She's a whiz. They turned out great. She hand carved the bodies, used the skin and fins, cast the heads in latex, used squirrel eyes, and used paper mache to make the moor have big eyes. They are mounted on a resin piece of driftwood. That is so cool! So I know a lot of people probably really don't like taxidermy and might think this is extremely creepy and gross, <laughs> but I, I like taxidermy a lot, especially if it was not like a hunting trophy type of taxidermy thing because I don't, I'm not real big on hunting, but I think taxidermy as an art form is really cool. And I've always had this thought that if one day I had like a favorite, favorite, favorite fish of all time and it passed away, 
it would be so cool to have it taxidermied, right? And then you could kind of have it forever. And so this is really cool, Carla. Thank you for sending me this picture and this letter. I, admittedly, I think that some people would find it really creepy, but I'm with you. I like it and I think it's cool. So rock on with your bad self. All right, next letter is coming from Robbie from Australia. Hey, Robbie, how's it going? How's the weather in Australia today? I'm, I don't know anything about Australia, I'm sorry. I can't. A kangaroos, um, wallabies. Ooh, there's a picture of a koi. Ooh, I like that. Check it out. Robbie drew this picture of a koi, and it looks like I would call that a Showa, probably. And then he also sent me a typed up letter with a picture of his beautiful fish. Robbie says, Hi, I'm Robbie. I'm 12 and I live in Australia and I just wanted to tell you that you're an inspiration to many people around the world. Even though you are just about goldfish and I watch your videos every Monday, I am also currently keeping tropical tanks which include guppies, angelfish, tetras, and corridora catfish. Robbie also says, I am so surprised about how, how much Clyde has changed. He has always been my favorite fish since you got him two years ago. And before I saw the last video with him in it, I didn't know that panda goldfish could change. I also drew you a picture of a koi, which I love. Thank you, Robbie. Robbie, you have good taste. You know why? Because Clyde is my favorite too. He is so cute. <laughs> you guys, this letter, oh, it doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know who it's coming from or where, but on the back it says, P.S. Please share just the pic on YouTube. Please share it on YouTube, please. Well, mystery letter sender, you might just be getting your wish today. So that's what happens when you send me stuff to my P.O. box. You get your wish. Oh, it says, to my favorite YouTuber, I love your videos, I love your fish, I love your hair. So funny. <laughs> I love your drawing. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Oh, it's so cute. Should I be worried right now? Or like, is this normal? This letter is from Tristan in Indiana. Hey Tristan, how's it going? I am opening your letter. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can already tell there's something cute in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Tristan, you shouldn't have. You should not have, this is too cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. This is amazing. I love this. It is a goldfish made of some kind of tissue paper or coffee filter. And on the side it has little sparkly rhinestones to perhaps indicate scales. Tristan says he recently rescued two comets that were going to be sold as feeder fish. I really would not be able to properly care for them if it was not for your channel. Oh, I love hearing that because that's why I make these videos so I can help you guys and help your fish. It says thanks for taking time out of your day to read this. It means a lot. Well you know what Tristan, it means a lot to me that you took time out of your day to make something for me and write something for me and send it to me. And I love that, so thank you so much. This letter comes from Amelia in Virginia and it has an adorable little goldfish doodle on the back, which I love. Ooh, I like it, look at that. It looks like a Blackmore and then a chocolate telescope. And they look like they could even be butterfly telescopes. And you guys know. I'm a sucker for butterfly telescopes. Amelia says, like you, I enjoy goldfish and pets of many different kinds. I am currently 12 years old and homeschooling. I would love to buy one of your fish later, but currently our tanks are quite full. We have a fantail, a comet, and two koi, all in a 39 gallon tank. So looking into an extra tank. That's a really good idea. And you should really consider uh, getting some kind of a pond outside for the koi too because those koi are going to get real big. Trust me girl. This is coming from Martis. 
Where is that? Whoa, where is that? This is a cool looking envelope. Oh, look at that. Okay, you're supposed to cut it open. You guys, I've never gotten a letter that was like this before. The envelope is the paper that the letter is written on. So I have to open it carefully. You know? This is weird. I have never experienced this before. I feel like I'm doing crafts just to open a letter. What's happening? What? Have you guys gotten a letter like this before? Or am I just, is it just me? I got it! This is coming from Miss Mr. Sedaney, I think? Mr. Sedaney, okay. Dear Jennifer, I see your videos on YouTube yesterday and I saw the one in Florida. I do not know much about you, but I like your goldfish. You must be very lucky to have such fish. I should be grateful to you if you would provide me with the address of the shop where you buy your gashapon, the small goldfish you place on your shelf. Oh, you mean these? I got these on eBay and I will put a link in the description below where you can purchase them on eBay. I've never seen a place in the United States where you can go to like a physical store or like Target or something and buy these, but you can buy them on eBay. All right guys, we just got a few letters left. This one is coming from Kelly in Moorhead, Minnesota. Sammy decided that he's going to sit on the letters. Ooh, there's a picture in this one. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love it when I, when you send me pictures. Kelly sent me this adorable drawing, which looks like a comet goldfish with a very, very cute face, I must say. And she also sent me a very nice letter that says, I had a special goldfish years ago named Fred. He was not special in that he was fancy or expensive. In fact, he was a 69 cent feeder goldfish from Walmart. She also says that she needs to thank me for all the awesome cat videos. As we speak, there is an orange fluffy butt right there at the edge of the frame. That's Roger. She says that she fell in love with Roger, Sammy, and Grimm, and now she finally has a cat of her own named Wilma. That's amazing. You guys, honestly, cats are so amazing. Dylan from Michigan sent a letter that has some stuff in it. It feels pretty thick. And it's got pictures. Ooh, I love pictures. A picture of a cute little white goldfish, a picture of a little orange fantail, and a picture next to the tank. That's what we call a goldfish selfie. We also have what looks like a drawing. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that looks like some kind of koi slash. Chinese dragon thing. I like it. Okay, Dylan. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. Hi, my name is Dylan and I'm 11 and a half years old. I live in the state of Mitten. Mitten? <laughs> I think he means Michigan. I have two goldfish, Oscar my fantail and Angel my comet. In fact, I have pictures of them along with a hashtag selfie of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love it, Dylan. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sending me all of your letters. You made me laugh and smile and feel feelings of love and appreciation for all of you. So thank you so much for sending me these letters. As I said before, if you want to send me letters of your own or drawings or cute adorable little goldfish things that you made, please do feel free. My P.O. box is down in the description below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay gold. I can't speak. The words just won't come out. Grim, do you mind? I'm trying to film here. Grim. No, 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 no. Oh. My bad, I didn't realize you were laying there.
and that's more important than anything I could be doing. 